David. <laughs> this is a story of a man with a very strange <laughs> fate. Hey, look. It's like I've grown wings.
<gasps> I didn't see you again this time either. Little Peggy. My name is David Young, former knock with the Boston PD, and now a detective who searches the past. My likes include 100% de agave tequila. My dislikes are mainly drugs and chewing gum. Two years ago, someone killed my wife. Since then, I've been using every second of my life to solve a case. Using a certain, a very special power. My head is full of memories of my wife. And the bullet that robs me of them. What happened in this place? on that day. A gift is an expression of emotion. The person who sends it wants the feelings to be understood. Sometimes, however, those feelings remain in a slightly different form. I call these forgotten treasures mementos. Little Peggy. <laughs> Everyone has their own place to work. A small desk in an office, a molten hot factory, a quiet library, the register in the supermarket, or in the middle of an intersection, in bed on a golf course, a kitchen. For some, it's the whole town. <laughs> From the day she died, this has been my place to work. It's been broken since that day. No results this time either. This case is in the clear. Did you hear about David's wife? Man, they were just married, too. I heard it was revenge for one of his investigations. Sure sounds like the way they operate. Sending a deadly message. I have no memories of that day. When I came to, I was already lying in the ICU. The only thing I do remember are the words that little Peggy whispered as she died. 
look for D. Who is D? Those words keep spinning in my head. At the time, with no compelling evidence, the case hit a dead end. I quit the BPD. However, under the right circumstances, I now have the capability to solve even a dead-end case. I'll do everything in my power to find this D. I swear I will. And when I do... Oh, Peggy. Amanda? This is Amanda. She just suddenly started living here one day. She sometimes goes out and gets food for us. And that's something of a lifeline for me, as I don't really go outside. Just who she is though, well, my memory holds no answers. Yo, David, everything ship shake? As you can see, Teddy. Someone definitely got the jump on you. <laughs> Forrest Casey, a detective with the Boston Police Department, and my former partner. He still helps me out nowadays in my search for D. He's both a client and a source of information. He gets whatever I need. Ah. <clears throat> Women are always trouble. Doesn't matter how old they get. Trouble. I'm fighting with Diana again? <sighs> like you wouldn't believe. Women. Men don't stand a chance. Uh, don't come and see me. Actually means get right over here. But then, leave me alone just means, well, leave me alone. How am I meant to make sense of that? Tell me, David, please. Coffee from a different place can be nice once in a while. Once in a while? All the time is more like it. Ah, I was a fool to ask you. Diana is so stupid. Once feared as the mighty grizzly, detective among detectives. Now he's more like a big teddy bear. What's the point of the place? Teddy, what's this? So, tell me, David, have you heard the news about that airplane accident, huh? Access Gate Airways Flight 117, struck by unexplained lightning. No one's talking about anything else right now. We might be looking at the real deal. I've got the good stuff for you this time. 